G'day, beer lovers. Yeah, it's our role, mate, again here. VB Ed. It's been a while since I've rung the fab. Haven't heard from him for a long time. Last I've heard is the fat Aussie bastard is in Thailand. So I'm going to Skype him, see what he's doing. Okay, let's do it. Just Skype you, see what you're doing. I haven't heard from you for a while. How the fuck did you find me, you fucking fag? Oh, you're on my Skype list, mate. So, for fuck's sake, mate, you're the only bloke I know that swigs fucking fucking air out of a fucking VB bottle. For fuck's sake, I've got I've got my stubby here right now. Okay, have you? Oh, mate, at least I'm drinking real fucking bourbon. Look at that, mind you, it's fucking zero coke, zero coke. Eh? <laughs> fuck me, mate. Like, what the fuck's going on? I'm over here from you in fucking New York, brother. Yeah. Hey, look, it's been about what twelve to eighteen months now since the since you deleted your channel. What have you been doing? Fuck the point, oh, mate. Twelve to eighteen months. Twelve to eighteen fucking years, mate. I mean, I, I fucking moved over to Thailand. I fucking retired, mate. I'm on my rear chasing fucking lady boys, brother. Fucking loving it, mate. You should see these fucking lady boys. There's actually some of them that actually look like real fucking girls. Seriously. So you, so all all that uh, interaction you had with. Uh, Big gay John has sort of rubbed off on you. You've gone gay. Oh, mate, I don't know whether I've gone gay. I think I fucking might be swinging a bit fucking both ways, you know, just a bit fucking both ways, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you like it up the arse, do you? You, you like, the, you like the, fu- the feeling of being fucked up the arse? Uh, mate, um, I've only ever been fucked up the ass once, and that was by you. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it was it, it was a bit of a piss poor experience because your cock was about the size of a fucking tic tac. So it really wasn't a great experience for me, mate. I'm sorry. So no, no, no. Look, I've got to say I don't. <laughs> hey, look, what's the chances of the fab coming back to YouTube? You know, like I've noticed that your your arch nemesis Pete has been very busy on Facebook recently with a lot of rants. Hey, mate, that fucking Pete Finn, eh? That fucking arch nemesis of mine, he's fucking lost a lot of weight, that cunt. You know, that he's fucking lost a lot of weight. I heard, I heard he got diagnosed with diabetes or some fucking shit, man. Has, he, serious? Had, has he had his feet chopped off yet? No, he hasn't had his feet chopped off, but he, I, I, think he, I think he got about four inches chopped off his cock, but that still leaves <laughs> him with about fucking eight inches, so he's probably all right there, mate. <laughs> hey, listen... Mate, I've actually got some pretty fucking exciting news. Um, the Paddlesy Bastard is about to make a huge fucking return to YouTube. Oh, and, yeah, uh, okay. No, mate, and uh, I've got to tell you, mate, there's a couple of things we need to talk about here because uh, I've also got a best of the Paddlesy Bastard DVD coming out, mate. Oh, who the fuck's going to buy that? The fucking digital versatile fucking disc. Hey, it's coming out, mate, I'm telling you. Thousands of people are going to buy it. Hey, and it's being released sometime in fucking May, mate. And uh, they're the best of the bad. And the Fat Aussie Bastard channel is going to be re-released in all its fucking glory on um, April 1, mate, on the 1st of fucking April. Check that date in your calendar, you motherfuckers. April fucking that's, 1. That's only two days away. Is it really? Well, by the time this video goes to air, it'll probably be on the fucking day, Ed. On the fucking day, mate. Mate, mate you're fucking privy to some fucking world-class fucking new fucking release bullshit here. You know that, don't you? <laughs> now, you've been on and off for, what, 11, 12 years, haven't you? And is there anyone out there that you want to say hi to? You know, mate, um, there's been a few people that have fucking stuck with me right from fucking day one and are still with me. And, mate, I've got to say a huge good day to Silky. Silky, you know I love you, man. Oh, one silky but, um, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I one silky one. And listen, mate, what about that fucking Dougie from out on the farm, mate? Eh? Like, you know Dougie, don't you? Dougie, oh, down under Doug. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's still around. He's a fucking great bloke, isn't he? Fucking down under Doug. I just wish he'd fucking find oh, himself a fucking woman, for fuck's sake. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Doug? Hey, for fuck's sake. <laughs> now, the whole community has been missing your rants. You know, you, there's a lot of subjects that you've been ranting around, ranting around about for years. Now, is there anything that's got up your goat recently that you feel like doing a rant about? 
what, apart from those fucking cock-sucking pedophile worshipping fucking Muslims? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, mate, that's, apart from the Muslims. It's just the same fucking shit. It's the same fucking shit, you know? The Muslims are invading this country. We're all about to get fucked over. They fucking leave their shit old country because they're scared and come to our fucking shit old country and turn it into a fucking shit old country. You know what? You cunts need to fucking vote me in to run for fucking politics. And I'm telling you right now, I will fucking rid the world of all these goat fucking cunts right fucking now. I'll kick fucking Paul and Hanson off her fucking pedestal and I'll fucking run for politics. And I've got to tell you right now, Ed, wherever you place this fucking video, if it gets a thousand fucking likes... I'm going to register and run for fucking politics. Oh, I wow. I don't give a fuck about my fucking criminal history. I'll run for fucking politics, and I will rid the fucking world of Muslims. And I'll tell you something else I'm going to do, mate. Instead of, instead of spending billions of fucking dollars on fucking all these illegal cunts coming in here, we're housing them in fucking motels, we're fucking buying them fucking big screen TVs, we're fucking sheltering them. I'll put all those billions of dollars to our fucking homeless, mate. And... You know, mate, we, we've got people that have served our country in the military and they're now living on the fucking streets. How about we house those fuckers first before we house the other fuckers, hey, the other fuckers. You're, hey, sounding we'll like, you're sounding like Australia's version of Donald Trump. You know what, mate? I'm better looking than fucking Donald Trump, although he's got a fucking pretty good looking <laughs> missus. Have you seen his fucking missus? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and you know what? She can speak five fucking languages, that fucking slut. I didn't know that. <laughs> she can. She can speak five fucking languages. She can speak English. She can speak American. She can speak um, she can speak Scottish, and she can speak gobble gobble and gobble gobble. Well, what about say if you do become the prime minister, that the first lady will be tantalising Tracy. What what languages can she speak? You know what, um, Tracy can speak whatever language I ask her to speak. And uh, <laughs> let me tell you, mate, like. Trace has just been the absolute godsend of my life, and I love that girl a bit. So um, let's move on, Ed, shall we? All right. Okay, all right. Now, <laughs> you've done a lot of consci- – you've rubbed up a lot of people over the years on your rants on depression, right? Now, has your views on depression moderated over the years? Oh, look, absolutely, mate. Um, hang on a sec. The best fucking sound in the world, mate. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, Fuck, that's the best thing in the world. Yeah, you sucking on air out of an air. <laughs> yeah, mate, I've got to tell you, yeah, Daniel, my views on depression used to be, if you're depressed, uh, you guys just need to get over it. Uh, but, mate, my views have moderated a bit, so my views are nowadays, if you're suffering depression, you need to get the fuck over it. The fuck. Oh, no, so, you haven't, have you, so you've never suffered depression yourself? Never suffered depression a day in my fucking life. And you know what? Real people don't suffer fucking depression. Oh, I'm depressed. I don't want to get out of bed. Oh, I don't feel very well. Oh, fucking hell. You know, the muffler fell off my car last fucking week. Oh, Jesus Christ. My fucking kid got a fucking E minus at school. Oh, I'm fucking depressed. Oh, oh, I'm fat. I'm overweight. I'm a big fat fuck because I can't stop eating Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm fucking depressed. Oh, get the fuck over it, you motherfuckers. Hey? <laughs> we all have shit go on in our fucking life. Hey? Some of us learn how to deal with it. And some of us just go, oh, I'm depressed. I think I'm going to go on the dole and I think I'm going to get some scripts for the fucking Xanax. <laughs> fuck you, you fuckers. You fuckers. You fuckers. All right. Thank, thanks, Fab. I'm going to get about 20 or 30 thumbs down now. Thanks, mate. Well, mate, I hope you get two or three hundred thousand thumbs down like I used to back in the day. Well, listen, mate, don't forget something that I have got to mention, mate. Um, I've already mentioned, mate, that uh, we are releasing the best of the Fat Aussie Bastard videos um, on DVD. Now, mate, who can forget Britney Spears' sex tape? Who can forget Ban the Burka? Who can forget your your prophet is a pedophile goat fucking cunt? Who can forget all those great moments in fab videos? So... But what I want to mention, mate, is that I will be donating every single cent from the proceeds of those DVDs mm. to charity. I'll be donating... Oh, yeah, I've said that before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will be donating them to the Fat Aussie Bastards Beer Drinking Fund Charity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I've got another question for you. Now... Has the fab lost any more teeth since we've seen him last? You know, has has the fab now invested in a pair of falsies? 
Well, that's a very good question, mate. And uh, unfortunately, I've actually had to manually remove with pliers the last few remaining teeth that I've got because I'm living in Thailand with ladyboys at the moment and uh, I'm making an income from uh, sucking ladyboys' cocks. So, you know, <laughs> the less teeth I've got, the fucking better, mate. So now I'm doing gummies. It's like... It's like... <laughs> 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 All right, final question for you. Now, haven't heard from your mate Queenslander for a long, long time. What's he been doing lately? You know what? That's a very good question, mate. Queenslander was my best mate for years and years and years. But, but mate, since he won that fucking $29 million last November on the fucking lotto, he's wiped us all off. Oh, shit, I don't believe you. He did, mate. He did $21 million on the lotto. You guys can check it out. Just fucking Google it, and you'll see that a, that a Queenslander won the $21 million last November in my fucking goal lotto. He's wiped us all like a dirty fucking spot. I haven't heard from him. It's like he doesn't want to know me anymore. Well, there you go, the fucking big fat cunt. Just fucking wiped us. <laughs> fucking, uh, uh, fucking gone. And, mate, um, he bought an island off the coast of Tasmania, and he's living down there with his missus. And he's uh, 27 cattle, he's 13 dogs and a few goats and a few fucking <laughs> gopers and a couple of seagulls, apparently. Oh, good. <laughs> Excuse the fuck out of me. All right. Mate, I haven't heard oh, okay, years. all right. Well, that's good to hear. Okay. Well, Queensland, if you're watching this video, how about alone? Okay. Mate, he, does, he doesn't watch peasants like you and I anymore, brother. <laughs> he's moved on. <laughs> We're low class for him now. Yeah, no, mate. We've always been low cast for Queensland, mate. Hey? It's all right, mate. You fucking know all, all your friends are until you win fucking twenty one million on the fucking lotto, and then you just fuck off, you <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, Queenslander. Oh, there's one more question I want to ask you, Fab. Has your views about overweight people changed or moderated over the years? Mm, so, uh, my views on fat lazy motherfuckers. I've got to tell you a funny story, mate. I was in McDonald's the other day and I saw this obese big fucking fat fucking slag sitting down on the fucking chair and she had about five fucking kids with her. So obviously five blokes have fucked her once at least and she's ordered a fucking Big Mac fucking meal with a large fries and a Diet Coke. A fucking Diet Coke. <laughs> you know what? For fuck's sake. My, my opinion on fat cunts hasn't fucking changed one fucking bit. If you're a fat, overweight fucker, I've got fucking two words for you. Stop fucking eating. Oh, hang on. That's three words. Stop <laughs> fucking eating. Don't fucking tell me, oh, I've got a medical disorder. Oh, I've got fluid fucking retention. Oh, I'm fucking depressed. I'm overweight. No, you're not. Stop fucking eating and stop being a fucking burden on every fucking taxpayer like fucking me, <laughs> even though I'm over in fucking Thailand chasing fucking lady boys, I'm still paying fucking tax on the $23 I've got in my Australian fucking bank account, I'm still paying 65 cents a fucking year tax on that, and that fucking 65 cents a year is going towards you fat fuckers that are on the fucking dole. Get a fucking job, lose a fucking weight, and stop fucking eating, you fat fucks. <laughs> Does that answer your question, Ed? <laughs> what? Have, have I said something like that? Oh, look, you're good. Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> hey, listen, Ed, we should take a little bit of a poll, mate. I, I reckon. Do people out there want the fat Aussie bastard to come back? Yes, they fucking do. The people out there don't want it. Yeah, no, they fucking don't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If, fuck. Sorry, if, I reckon if this video gets, what, say 500 views, you'll be back or 1,000 views. Oh, no, it's not views. I want fucking likes. I want the fucking thumbs up, you know, because I'm a fucking narcissist, egotistical <laughs> fucking creeper. At least, at least that's what all the haters you can fucking tell me, yeah? <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> so what, 500 ups? No, that's too hard. Um, too hard? 100. No, I have, like, how about one? <laughs> one fucking thumb up. <laughs> eh? We'll bring the fucking fat Aussie bastard back. Fucking as we will. <laughs> eh? The only issue is, mate, is I'm, I, I, I'd need to borrow the airfare from you to get back from Thailand to Australia, mate. Are you, are you up for that, Ed? 
I don't know about that. Okay, now, the links to Fab's new channel is in the beer box below. Okay? So, go along and sub the new Fat Aussie Bastard channel. There you go. The, the brand new Fat Aussie Bastard video fucking YouTube channel is down here in, in the links. And also, Ed, sorry, mate, I did this without your permission, but the links to where you can buy the fucking Fat Aussie Bastard best of DVD is down here in the fucking description below as well. And don't forget, every fucking cent, I'm going to donate to fucking charity. <laughs>